Buccaneers coming up next. We're about 20 miles from the Gulf of Mexico at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa, as we bring you the NFL on EA Sports. So good to have you on board with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, in this league, you know it, you lived it. Undergoing a changing of the guard at the quarterback position sometimes can be traumatic, but a lot of times it leads to hope. We've got a couple of teams here with young signal callers looking towards the future. And you know the old saying, Mike, in the NFL, it is truer than ever. If you have a quarterback, you have a chance. And here we have two teams that feel like they have that quarterback position of the future settled. Here's Evan McPherson, and off we go from Tampa. This is fielded inside the five. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. The Falcons set to take over here on offense. Leading him out, the quarterback out of North Carolina, Greg, it is Sam Howell. You know, what's funny about the NFL, Mike, is you expect... A game each and every week and certainly that's ideal but can you win when you don't have your best stuff and I think that's what we saw from this quarterback last week the best thing he did was just continue to battle continue to make just enough plays even though he had some struggles but the biggest thing is while he continues to improve what a confidence boost for this entire team knowing that even if their quarterback doesn't have his best stuff they can still play winning football On play action, he'll set up to throw. Oh, intercepted on the second play of the game. Picked off by Trenton Simpson. So anytime a team suffers an early setback like that interception, human instinct says, Mike, we need to get away from our game plan. We need to adjust. I don't think that's the case. There's a lot of game left, a lot of chances to avenge that play and still connect downfield on some of these passes. All proven, though, Mike. They've got to identify what went wrong. Let's correct it so we're able to move forward. So the Tampa Bay offense set to work for the first time in this one. Led out by the last pick of the draft in 2022. Iowa State's Brock Purdy at quarterback. One thing about this guy that's pretty clear, Mike, is there's not a whole lot that rattles him. He does a good job staying even keel. You don't know if he just threw a pick or if he just led his team to a touchdown drive. And that was kind of the case last week. He didn't let it snowball into a bunch of back-breaking mistakes. He just shook it off and kept playing. Now, can he keep that mentality as the rest of the year unfolds? And if he does, he's going to give his team a chance every single week. And that one just kept getting worse and worse until finally they bring him down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. From the gun, it's Purdy. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. The Buccaneers getting their puncher out there. As the drive went in the wrong direction, he's on to punt it away. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Falcons offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. As we move deeper in the season, he continues to put up the big numbers week after week. And you see it manifest there. The NFL's leader in receptions to this point of the year. He'll get that complete. That's Justin Watson. And he's got this up close to the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. 
throwing is Hal. He's got the tight end, Tunyon. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Back to throw. Hal. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver. And down he goes. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. They'll throw with Howell. He's got his man. It's complete to Thomas. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Here's how. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catchability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. It's a gain of 10 yards. It's good for a Falcon first down. They'll run for the first time with their fullback. Running room hard to come by as he'll get ahead for a yard. Jason Pinnock there to end it. Here's a second and nine. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Back taken in by Connor Hayward. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Now, faking the give. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that... Ah, this pressure is relentless. They get him again. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Bennett to throw. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Trenton Simpson. Well, Mike, once again, this drive, it ends the same way their last one did, walking off the field, following an interception. Now, you're hoping this is more momentary struggle than it is a trend, but as hard as it is to do, they need to get calmed down. They need to reset because their offense cannot operate at a high level if they don't have confidence in this passing game. The Bucks' offense ready to take over for their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. The drive begins with a carry from ETN. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. They come to the line now on second and two. Cooper going in motion. Purdy now on second down. He's going to air this out for Davis. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, 
I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense. Oh, he's hit behind the line, and the ball is out. But this is taken in by a teammate. Pretty fortunate right there, Mike. If that ball bounces just a different direction, that could easily be a turnover or even points the other direction. Here's Cameron Johnston now, and he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The Falcons offense ready to get back at it. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. This one complete, right side, it's Watson. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Now it's Howe. Throw left side, taken in by Thomas. Well, he's brought down, that pass is gonna pick up four and bring up third down. To throw is Howell. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You gotta see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. The Bucks offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. They'll give it to ETN to start this drive. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. You get a look there at his numbers on the ground from a week ago. Here's second and six. Off the play fake. Here's Purdy. He's going to air this one out looking for Cooper. You know, it's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. He'll try to run for it. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. This run straight ahead for ETN. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll run it once more with ETN. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Shotgun snap to Purdy. He'll get that complete to Franklin. And he's going to get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot. But that'll keep this drive rolling. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. They motion a receiver right. On first and ten, Purdy. That's taken in by Franklin. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Here's second and two. 
on play action. Here's Purdy. He's got it at the seven. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. To throw once more, it's Purdy. He's got it at the three. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. He'll look to run. It's ETN. Ah, good blocking, and he's in. Travis ETN. Touchdown, Tampa. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. A return now from the four. He'll work his way across the 25 yard line. The Falcons offense make their way out to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Howell. He runs with it, and he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. He'll come up now for second down and four. They run out of the gun and tag on a reverse, and he's going to get it. First down, taking this one up past the 40-yard line. I think at this point, Mike, he doesn't care whether they hand it to him, throw it to him. He just wants to be the guy with the ball in his hand when his team needs a big play. And he came through there with a big first. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. The pressure gets there, and he goes down. A sack that should be the final play of this first quarter. So, they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. We'll have more from Tampa after this. Third and long. He'll look to throw. A ball deep for the end zone. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Here's Presley Harvin now. He's on for the second time. We'll try to get something inside the tent. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. Here's first and ten. They motion the slot man left. On first and ten, it's Purdy. That's into the hands of Travis Etienne. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. At 
from the shotgun. It's Purdy. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, we try to fit in the slant, and it was intercepted. Picked off by Michael Carter. Those simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you why. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. Well, Falcons offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. And he's been as involved as anyone in the league in the middle part of the season, the NFL leader in receiving yards to this point. Throwing is how. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Back to throw. How? The pressure there got to him. He's hit as he threw it. And that pass falls incomplete. The try again. It's second and ten. Here's Howell out of the pistol. That's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Shaq Barrett. His offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll run. It's ETN. Strong running there. Inside the 30. On the move with a gain of nine. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. That caught by Davis. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over. Now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly. But can they... And that big offensive run. Clearing space. He's in. Travis Etienne. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. So that's his second touchdown of this one. And he's got a half dozen for the year. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And we're just getting started. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. The return starts from the five. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score, as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. On the ground, it's Murray. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. They'll throw with Howell. He's got the tight end, Tunyon. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And 
Listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Here's Howell. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now they'll set up to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Back to throw. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. It's too long for a field goal. They'll go for it here on fourth down. Motioning Tunyon, the tight end. Now it's Hal. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be. And they'll turn it over on downs. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. The tight end, Komet, is on the move. First and 10 for Purdy. That's a short throw caught by Komet. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. The tight end, Komet, is on the move. Purdy now on second down. He'll go right back to Komet. He's got it again. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. The carry here for ETN. Good running inside the 25. And he's into the end zone yet again. Travis ETN. Touchdown, Tampa. Three touchdowns in this one. He now has seven for the year. So his big first half continues. Three rushing touchdowns already. Maybe have to start looking at the record book. See if he can do it. The record in a game is six. McPherson now for the PAT. He gets it to go. And the Bucks will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. This taken in at the eight yard line. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35 yard line. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do. They find themselves down three touchdowns here. Needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. A chance here for Murray. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. This is a guy who's been doing it at a high level, Mike, for a long time. Not too many running backs finding success in the NFL past the age of 30. That's usually when they kind of ride off into the sunset. But as always, there's the exception to every rule. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Motioning Tunyon, the tight end. To throw is Howell. The throw on the run is complete. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle 
to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. They'll throw out of the gun, and it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. He'll drop to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. They'll look to throw. This one complete to Hayward. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. It'll bring up fourth down. The Falcons sending out the field goal unit. This from 40 yards out. That one is good. And the Falcons are on the board now here in this second quarter. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and Travis Etienne set to get back to work. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. The tight end, Komet, is on the move. On second down, Purdy. He'll drop this for ETN. We'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. That's caught. It's the tight end, Komet. 16-yard pickup on that one. Good for a Buccaneers first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. That's caught. Downfield by Cooper. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. First and ten at the 32 yard line. Up the middle, here's ETN. Not much. Second and long coming up. Sending a receiver right. Throwing on second down is Purdy. Quick throw here is complete. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw, Purdy. Uh, trying to set up the screen, but he just had a spike that one. This will be incomplete. He'll try again here. Second and ten. 
Shotgun snap to Purdy. That's over the middle, taken in by Cooper. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. Brings up third and three. Throwing again is Purdy. Toss right side to the tight end, Komet. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bucks can tack on three more. Extending the lead here late in the first half. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense, and Sam Howe heading back onto the field. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. There's that man again, another catch. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Back to throw. How? And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. How? A pass taken in by Watson. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. He finds Hollins on the ground. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. They'll come up to third and three. Throwing is Howell. And that is incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. The Buccaneers offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half, putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. Purdy now, he'll throw on first down. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. Out of the gun, it's Purdy. Quickly to the outside and complete. Now the Bucks will take their first time out. Clock will stop with 34 seconds to go until the break. Third down. Heard it. And that is incomplete. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw... And brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitors' offense going to take over just before the half. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Here's how. Now the Falcons will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in half number one. He's got a man. That's Watson. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. 
So we're at halftime here in Tampa, and the Buccaneers are in the lead. And we get you across the state to Orlando and check in with the coach, Jonathan Coachman, as our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland. And it's the Ravens who have the lead in that one. Josh Downs, a touchdown reception. From there, let's hop over to New England. Check out the Patriots at home in Foxborough. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdown passes. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And that one all tied. 